Pues nosotros por el momento eh, no nos han ayudado. It has been a painful 59 days for Carlos Diaz and Dalia Ardia. Eight weeks since their precious baby girl was taken. No, pues yo ese día tenía muchísimo miedo porque pues... Through the family's friend and translator, Dalia says it's something she'll never be able to get over, calling it heartbreaking. The family didn't want to show their faces but agreed to share their story. Prosecutors say on February 20th, Dalia's female cousin along with a man drove up from Florida under the pretense of delivering things for the family. Police say this surveillance video from neighbors shows their arrival after waiting for Carlos to go to work, then forcing their way into the couple's home, beating Dahlia, pinning her down and tying her hands, threatening to stab her two-year-old child while taking the baby. Police tracked the Florida couple down a few hours later near Moses Lake. The baby was okay. No, mis hijas son mi vida. Ellas Those children are God's biggest gift, Dahlia says. She loves them with everything in her. Ellas. Carlos says they're the thing that keeps them together. Having them is pure happiness. They want to do everything to protect them. The suspects have pleaded not guilty. The case is ongoing. For Carlos and Dahlia, so too is their trauma. She's terrified of being alone, so Carlos has cut back on work hours. Money is tight. For now, living day by day. En, en estos momentos sería bueno uno... Some therapy would help, Carlos says, but they can't afford it. Pues es que por el momento no... Dahlia adds she doesn't know how to get on to the next day. I've been in touch with a King County senior deputy prosecuting attorney who admitted that resources are thin for victims. There's really not money or programs other than having victim advocates. In this case, both the family and even some within the prosecutor's office feeling that's not enough. In the studio, Jim Nelson, King 5 News.